Good evening, Austin Hoopers. I'm James Williams, lead coordinator for the Alpharetta Club, here with Robert Alfonso. Mr. Do Everything here at UH Life, uh, pretty much stats, lead coordinator. I, I see you got a, a picture online where you even played on the team. So he pretty much does everything. And we're here to preview week seven here at the Alpharetta Clubs League. Um, it's an interesting night. Uh, some, some matchups that are less favorable than others, but we have one big matchup, which is the primetime matchup, Rainmakers versus Max Contracts. It's really for number one. They're two undefeated teams. Um, Totally different opposite ends of styles. Right. One team likes to run and gun. The other team, they settle down. They pound the glass. They go inside. They have the biggest front line in our league. Give us some of your thoughts on, on that particular game. Well, I, I want to say this. You know, like the Rainmakers is a very meticulous ball club. You know, they have Markel King inside who is who is not afraid to be able to use his body and be physical. They have an outside presence is Duke Nugent. He actually knocks down the you know three ball. He's a threat outside, even though a lot of people still kind of don't don't give him the respect due that that he deserves. But you know, and it's a team that looks to make the at times the extra pass. Where on the other hand, Max contracts. I mean, deep and down the floor, they, every time they get a chance to move the ball up, they're looking to penetrate. They're looking to kick the ball. But here's the thing, and here's the concept behind this game. And they'll, they'll be upset when I say this. If they don't make shots, they don't win. Right. That, that's their thing. If they don't make shots, they don't win. They don't have an inside presence. I don't care who they have. They don't have an inside presence to be able to stop a Markel King. So the, the, the thing that I, I see with that ball game, and I'm not going to be crazy enough and say Rainmaker's going to pull off the upset. Right. I'll actually say, you know, Max Contract can win it but if they don't hit shots I won't be surprised if Rainmakers beats them you know so that that's the one thing that I, I like on this contract my man G Barlow you know what time it is and my man Ashley Olinger what's good America what's good I mean I, I can remember uh you know last spring last summer you know you guys were going at each other's throat in the pickup ball how good does it feel to be tag team partners now uh Taking out your frustration on the rest of the league. Oh man, it's it's always good to team up with other good players. It's it's, it's always good. It's what me and him had was just in between those lines. It, it wasn't anything personal. He healthy competition breeds better basketball. So, you know what happened? The situation worked itself out. You know, like you said, we keep it in between the lines. Give props to each other after the game. Finally linked up. In it's history, you see what we see what we doing on the scoreboard now. Your your average margin of victory is. I, I believe it's 33 points. I mean, you guys are beating teams by 33 points a night. I mean, do you see anybody, you know, really posing a threat to you guys? Um, our game next week, we play against a pretty big team. And so what that does is it slows us down. And we run a lot. And so that, that'll be the only mishap. But we feel our pressure will get to anybody. So eventually it'll, it'll happen. Yeah, we, we play a high octane pace of game. So, you know, against the bigger teams, bigger players, we're looking to get up and down the floor. I think we also haven't scored under about 90 points a game yet. So the bigger teams, the stronger teams, going to have to keep up with it there as well. And like I said, you know, you know, we're two here, but we got five more sitting on the bench that go just as hard. So it's a real team effort. You guys are one of the most fun, dynamic teams. You guys are dunking, throwing lobs. You're the only team I know that brings fans with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, your games in lifetime is packed. I mean, uh, how, how good does that feel? Oh, it feels awesome. But, I mean, you got to give them what they, what they come for. Like I said, you know, a fast-paced game, they get up in the air, old men like me sit on the three-point line and let it fly. You know what I'm saying? You liable to get a half-court shot out of me with 12 minutes to go. So <laughs> people want to know what the next crazy thing might happen. So, you know. Man, I appreciate you guys' time, man, and uh, good luck next week, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Lifetime World, I'm still counting down to Vegas 2014. Sure. We bringing that. Yeah. Nice. Right. Another, another matchup which is interesting to me that stood out. It's Legion of Doom versus Mamba Five. You know, LOD they they've gone through their highs and lows this year. More lows. Yeah, than right, that. right. <laughs> but you know, the, the thing about it is, the Mamba Mamba is starting to play, and and even tonight when they when they started out the game with four guys, they're so precise in what they're doing. You know, wh what they're doing with their ball club, they actually move the ball around, and even with most teams struggle with that. Mo most teams struggle with that, and. and 
again, yeah, Taylor was off, but he's had some other guys. You know, Blaze Blaze comes in and oh, handles Blaze the ball. He, Taylor, we can honestly say, has had a down year. And when they add Chris Johnson to the mix, he actually has been their leading scorer for right. most of this season. Doing like the little things, four assists, three steals here. Uh, even taking charges or, or, or getting that offensive rebound. So they're a team that's not just made up of Taylor, which in the past, everybody's been so key and focused on Taylor that they shift their defense to him, and the other guys have, have responded right. and stepped up. Well, and, and, and you're right about that. I mean, I, I see them being able to win this ball game. Then we got Follies versus Enough Said. And Enough Said, they, they've been struggling. You know, the, the, part of the problem with Enough Said is unfortunately they only come to the game with four guys. Right, right, right. You know, so they, they really are a better team than their record indicates. And if they would have just have five guys show up, they could be a dangerous ball club. They're probably one of the better teams, probably more underrated teams oh, yeah. in this league. You know, and Follies. Follies, they just been struggling because they can have six guys show up, but they're all so inconsistent. It's it's ridiculous, you know. So, I mean, I, I think a lot of them just once they get down with them, it's they tend to give up. Oh yeah, and they bicker and argue with each other. And, and the biggest thing is they're complaining about size. But I noticed their lack of ball movement. Even looking at the stats tonight, uh, Marcus Ross goes 0 for 8. You know, uh, David Vada goes. You know, eight for 15, mm -hmm. eight, eight for 21. Mm -hmm. Those type of numbers with the missed shots, a lot of teams against them just get it and run. Right. Because they're, they're not crashing right. the glass. Right. So they're getting it and they're on the other end and, and converting the defense to offense very quickly. And, and before you know it, in a game that they could be in, they're down by 15, 20, and then right. they're bickering and arguing with each other about shots. And and that's and to me, that's that's really is the, they've been in their Achilles heel all season. You know, that they have it. They don't get going. They don't get into a flow. And again, they're they're one of those teams that they got to hit one to feel good about themselves, right. as opposed to just playing basketball. Right. And where the players play, they ran into a tough one tonight. But they're going to be playing the finest. The finest actually was able to get a game tonight and get a, get on the win column. Forfeit. You know, through a forfeit. It's their but, second win, actually. Right, and, and you know, but not only get on that side, but they're going to have their hands full with where the players play because where the players play. Even though they lost it, they have Paul Evans inside. And actually, he's not just inside. He's outside. He's over there collecting towels. He's doing this. He's doing that. He does a little bit of everything. Right. And and he's going to be a, a, a matchup problem for the I, finals. I think the key to that game is if where the players play can understand that their biggest asset is their player and ball movement. Well. We'll end that show. We'll end the show with that, fellas, uh, out there in Ultimate Hoops Land. I'm James Williams. I'm Robert Alfonso. And you guys have a great week.